Hello everyone! Thank you for your interest in applying machine learning to operations in manufacturing, grid operations, smart devices and related use cases. My name is Bernhard Zoom and I work in product marketing for machine learning at Elastic. I have Elk with me here today as Sherlock Holmes looking for root cause. Elk stands for the ELK stack, Elasticsearch, Logstash and Kibana. I've explained the basics of root cause analysis in a different video. We'll provide the links below if you want to catch up. If you're responsible for keeping equipment in manufacturing running or devices connected, listen up. Today you'll learn about smart monitoring, which applies analytics and machine learning to monitor industrial equipment or connected devices, to anticipate and prevent failures, thus reducing your operational cost. You may have heard about any of these other listed terms. So what's different today in manufacturing and operating equipment? Relying on manual re operators like manufacturing used to 30 years ago is prone to error. With digitization taking off over the last 10 years, much equipment in manufacturing and elsewhere has already been instrumented with sensors. And that provides operational data in real time. Further, today many connected devices are in operation out there by consumers. Think set-top boxes on your TV. Smart monitoring and predictive analytics lets you leverage that real-time data to improve your operations and improve the experience of the users by increasing uptime. How do you do that? At a high level, we achieve this by applying a data-driven approach. Ingest your operational sensor data, shown on the left here, into an analytical system like Elasticsearch and then use its analytics and modeling to automatically monitor the operation and extract insight about issues as they occur. Elastic supports this complete process. Connectors let you ingest sensor data from many sources, including real-time protocols like MQTT and OPC UA. Elki says, we are not using Logstash here, as typical. Instead, Machine Beats, which is able to ingest process data using the MQTT protocol. Below I've included a link to its GitHub repo, so you can find it easily. Then visually analyze the data and build monitoring dashboards using our data analytics tool Kibana. Apply unsupervised anomaly detection and pre-configured observability to receive automated alerts about possible system issues as they arise. Finally, drill into root cause by inspecting related data, correlating fields, or build supervised condition models that characterize the status of key system components. Let's see this in action in the context of monitoring a manufacturing plant. After ingesting sensor data using the MQTT connector, we visualize key sensor measurements on a monitoring dashboard. The data suggests the plant in Berlin is underperforming. Next, let's drill into what's going on. With all relevant data consolidated in Elastic, you can determine scope and get a root cause. We select the plant where an issue occurred drill into the shop floor and which piece of equipment is causing problems. Find out that it's related to a pump that may have lost pressure and a leaking seal or maybe just needs cleaning. Elke admits that was pretty high level. Follow our link below to a complete walkthrough how to implement monitoring and predictive analytics. In webinar length. Which other use cases lend themselves to this approach? As alluded to here, 
industrial manufacturing, which I've referred to, but also transportation, trains, fleets of trucks, smart homes and electronic devices, and smart grid management. Why is Elastic a good fit to implement smart monitoring and preventive maintenance? First, access visualizations, analytics and machine learning in our interactive analytics environment, Kibana. Second, Elastic comes with an enterprise solution for endpoint and cloud security, including Seam. Finally, all this in a platform that scales up on demand and doesn't require having you pay for keeping data in separate dedicated tools. Just one copy of the data, thus lowering your total cost of ownership. Don't take my word that this approach delivers results. Hear how our customers applied anomaly detection and elastic tools to improve operational monitoring. First, let me describe to you what Tractor does. They support installation of underground pipes and cables, drilling horizontally beneath the surface, minimizing work in open trenches that disrupt roadways and sidewalks. They instrumented their drill rigs with sensors that measure torque, thrust and drilling fluid pressure and improve visibility to rig operators using monitoring dashboards in Kibana. To improve operations further, they aggregated data across many sites and analyzed reported anomalies by correlating low drill performance with various operating conditions, like type of soil and weather, and optimized their operations that way. Second, Dish Media connects TVs to the internet with setup boxes and has over 7 million subscribers. They accelerated root cause analysis and issue remediation from hours to near real time, applying elastic tools. Hey you, I hope you've learned something today. Continue listening for advice how you can learn more. First, you can visit our website elastic.co customers and read up the full story of Tracto and Dish Media. Second, you could watch a full-length webinar describing how to apply Elastic to predictive maintenance at ELA.ST ML in IIoT. Or maybe you want to engage with us. There is our discussion forum, discuss.elastic.co. Or if you don't have access to Elastic yet, definitely sign up for our free trial to get your hands on it. Thank you for your time and attention.